Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. You know that I often lurk around these GitHub repos and more often than not, I find little small nuggets or pieces of hardware from people. This project, Lama 3.2 OCR, is a very, very simple project yet quite nifty, I would say. So this person has built a very small sort of OCR app all local by using Olama and Lama 3.2 vision model and in this video we are going to install it locally and then see how it works. It works on GUI by using Streamlit and we will also install it locally. If you don't know what Olama is, please search my channel. I have done without any exaggeration more than 800 to 900 videos already on Olama from every angle. The installation is very very simple. All you need to do is to Go to olama.com, click on download for Windows and Mac, just download their executables and run it for Linux. All you need to do is to run this command. I already have it installed. And if you don't know what Lama 3.2 Vision model is, the Lama 3.2 Vision collection of multi-modal large language model is a collection of pre-trained and instruction tuned image reasoning, reasoning models in 11 billion and 90 billion sizes. But as we are using Olama, so we will be using a quantized version. If you want to see the full installation of these Lama 3.2 vision models, please search my channel as you can see on the, your screen. I already have covered them on heaps of videos. And I have even fine-tuned it on your own image data and lot of other stuff which you can check out on the channel. So let's get it this application installed and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description and I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. I already have Olama installed and I am running few models with Olama but not the vision model which we will download shortly. First up as usual just to keep everything separate from my local installation I am going to create a virtual environment with Konda. This is not mandatory but a best practice and I would highly suggest that you do that. You can even go with Python virtual environment if you like. Let's wait for it to get created. And now let me git clone the repo of this project which I showed you in the github and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And then now I am in the llama ocr directory in the folder or in that repo I should say. Let's install a couple of prerequisites. It's a very simple lightweight project, nothing really complicated about it. We're installing the Olama's python library and the streamlet which is used for GUI. And it's as I said, it install everything you need as part of it. So let's wait. Shouldn't take too long. And that is all done. Now let's download our model. For that, the command is very simple. Olama run or Olama pull. Run also gives you a prompt. We just want to download it. So I'm just going to do Olama pull. It is going to download the model. And you see that the size of this vision model, even in context format, is around 6 gig. So make sure that you have that much space on your system. The download speed at mass compute is really cool today, which is nice. Anyways, it is going to download the model. It is going to verify the checksum and then we will be all set to use this model. It already has downloaded the model and its vision projector. Almost there. There you go, it is verifying the checksum. And the model is downloaded. Let me do a Lama list and it should show the new Lama 3.2 vision model as you can see at the top. Okay, so if you do ls-ltr here, you will see that there are only two files. There is only one file which has I guess 50, 60 lines of code. Before I run it, let me actually show you the code because look, the purpose of these videos is not to just show um, the uh, repos, but the real purpose is that you look out, look at these projects these are open source go through the code and then maybe create your own or use them after customizing it for your own use case of course 
so let me open it in the vs code and then we will see what it is what there is in the code and there you go you see it is also using pillow so we need to make sure that pillow is installed i think it gets installed as part of streamlit but we will check it is just simply doing the page configuration then it is using the title which you can customize of course and then it is just adding some buttons and stuff for streamlit it is a very usual streamlit uh, streamlit blocks of code this is where it is giving it the model and you know what if you want to use any other model vision related maybe you can use that too maybe you would have to just change a prompt a bit template but it's not hard to customize it at all and that's it only 64 lines of code that's about it okay so and it is i mean it is all prompting the prompt is geared towards the ocr you can change this prompt to something else and then use it for that purpose so this is why i wanted to show you this code that lot of customizations you can do anyway let's go back let me clear the screen and then let me run it the running is quite simple all you need to do is to do python3 app.py and that's pretty much it and as soon as you run it in a split second it shows you this llama ocr in your browser at localhost at port 8501 from here you can upload your file so let me go there and maybe i'll just upload a file for ocr so I've just gone with this OCR file as you can see and then um, there is nothing else here. It says Lama Vision 2 model. Let's click on extract text here. It is running. Let's wait for it. It's all local, all private. And while it runs, this is a VRAM consumption for this model just close to 12 gig of VRAM it is using. Okay. And while it happens, there you go. So it has this is the whole OCR here. So these are the phrases and all that stuff. And the final line reads this. So, so look, uh, all this is doing what model is doing. This is just giving us an interface and how good is that? So very, very cool stuff. Let's try out another file. Maybe I'll just go with this time Arabic OCR. And then I'll just click on extract text. Let's wait for it. And you can do as much OCR you, as you want. And there you go. It says that yes, Arabic script, clear and legit, and then Arabic text. I'm not sure it is able to read Arabic. So I think that is why it didn't do it. So pretty cool. Uh, you can see that, uh, you know, a lot of customization you can do as, a, as I said earlier. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. As I said, I'm going to drop the link to it in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.